Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tony from Tony's Professional Touch based out of San Bernardino, California. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how I lost an employee and what I plan to do next uh, in my business. Uh, so follow me along. What happened uh, with Joseph? Um, he uh, went back to the old detail that he used to work for um, a couple days ago. It's been probably about like a week. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so you don't have a, a help a worker right now? Um, right now I only have a, a part-time uh, employee. She's helping me out. Well, she's available um, Sunday, Mondays, and Tuesdays. Um, so I'll usually have her come out Mondays and Tuesdays. Yesterday was her first day on the actual job um, out in the field, and she did pretty well. So um, you guys should probably see her sometime soon. We'll, I'll be having her again um, this Friday, and then this this week she's taking the week off of her regular job so i'll be having her for this friday and then i'll have her again most likely next week monday and tuesday got it so did joseph's departure was it a surprise um uh yes and no i kind of expected it but i didn't expect it to be this soon and also um like on the day of that it happened i was like it was a we took that day off and then it just happened like kind of midday where he let me know that uh he is uh going to go back with the old detail that he used to work for Got it. And then, um, so did he leave on good terms, or was there any bad blood? Uh, no, we left on pretty good terms. I understood um, where he was coming from, and uh, yeah. So did uh, his abrupt departure, did it mess up any jobs you had for that week? Um, not necessarily. Uh, since we weren't like super booked out or anything, I was able to handle all the jobs on my own. He did, but uh, when he uh, texted me, he let me know. Uh, he was, he asked me like if I wanted him to finish out the week with me or, and then I just let him know that it was, it was, it was cool. Um, he could start working with the other guy, um, as soon as he wanted to, because we weren't really super booked out for that week. So I was able to handle all the jobs, um, by myself. Got it. So, um, are you work looking for a, a replacement for Joseph or are you just going to keep that one employee? Um, for the moment, I think I'll just keep, um, my one part-time employee for now. Uh, possibly in the future, um, I may start looking for someone, but I'm not really in a hurry or in a rush. Um, so for now I'll just do solo for the most part and since, and then just uh, have my, my other one part-time. Maybe turn her into full time later on, depending on how it goes. Got it, got it. So, did you see any signs of him like quitting before he actually quit, or? I saw a sign of him quitting after he quit already. <laughs> so, like on my most re recent YouTube video, that's out like as of right now. Um, he was talking about how like the drive was really annoying. He would tell me sometimes too, like when he get traffic or whatnot. Uh, but it was a little more noticeable on that recording of that video how he was like pretty annoyed about the drive um being like the, the main the drive the drive get? well from since he's from Boyle Heights which is like East LA and I'm in San Bernardino he would have to drive to San Bernardino every day and then back um and then so yeah he would it would I guess get annoying for him to do that every day you know, and then driving well he didn't drive when he was with you right because he just carpool yeah he basically so he would just drive to my house and then um in the van we'd go together and do the job and then we'd go back to the house and he'd get in his own car and go back to his house so when you when he was in your van did you use a carpool lane or not yeah yeah i would use a carpool lane did it, did it make getting to the jobs faster mm, not necessarily um because i usually go in the carpool lanes by myself sometimes so it was funny because i actually when i had him in the car i would forget like it's weird when I have nobody in the car with me I'll hop in the carpool lanes without worrying about like officers or anything but when I had him with me I'd be like oh dang I can go in the carpool lane now like and I just totally forget that I could go in there and I'd use the regular one or whatever uh, so when he told you that he was gonna leave did you try to convince him to stay or um, no I, I didn't I, I understood and I feel like the only way that I'd be able to convince him to stay would be if I raised um, the money but I don't know about the money just because um, I feel like money wasn't really the main issue for him I feel like it was just the drive like he didn't want to do the drive um, so because the the like when he got his job offered back, he let me know how much he was gonna get paid, um, which was $30 less than what I was paying him per day. And so 
um, it wasn't really money wasn't really that much of an issue it was more of the drive because that car I probably could have offered him like more money but it probably wouldn't have been worth it on my side so I just kind of like let it let it go because like, it is what it is yeah. the LA traffic man what advice do you have for other detailers when it comes to losing employees um, it depends on where you're at on your business and how busy you are. Um, there's a lot of factors that go into it. Um, if you're super busy, or actually, you know what? I get. I think a, a good would be like what Grant Cardone said, with hire slow and fire quick. Um, I actually learned that about. I learned about that from one of my clients, um, KP. Uh, he let me know, and I was like, I, I thought about it. And I was like, huh, this is something I should probably try out because I'm usually um, the type of person that hires slow and fires slow. So like, I'll give people a lot of chances. Um, um, whereas other bosses probably wouldn't, they'd probably fire them on the spot for s something small or whatnot, or something that I think would be small, but they would think it's pretty big. So you would say just be less forgiving? Kind of? Possibly, depending on the situation as well. Um, I feel like be, I, you, you gotta be more of like on the boss side than the friend side. When you're a friend, they slack off a bit more. And and don't take the position as seriously. Um, so I guess you gotta just be a bit more strict and set an example, I guess. Yeah, you, you gotta lead. Yeah, so. so when you hire someone, do you let them know that this job or industry is not easy and that they have to put in the work? Um, yeah, they'll kind of figure that out on the first day, uh, especially when they're out on the field. Um, especially when it's hot and we got a couple cars to get knocked out. I set specific time frames and I'll let them know like if we're not meeting those time frames. Um, and then um, I'll let them know what they need to work on and whatnot. And then they'll be able to notice um, that it's not, this isn't really easy work. Um, it is pretty like labor intensive and you're definitely gonna get tired. Um, and you're gonna have to try to keep the same like like pace of speed throughout the whole day. You can't just do cars fast in the morning in the beginning of the day and then like towards the end of the day get all slow because you gotta get these cars done by a certain time. All right guys, well there you have it. Um, that's what happened with my old employee Joseph. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys handle uh, employees quitting on you. And then if you remember, if you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.